Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has been targeted and exposed to a bioweapon that people are calling Morgellons, which is creating many disturbances in my life, my mind, and my body. Now I'm trying to trying to see whether it's simply the reflection in the mirror or is it the the yellow light of this curtain or is it really that bad <laughs> yeah it's really that bad and um, the anxiety and uh, misproportion understanding and action and emotion <clears throat> this <clears throat> excuse me newfound apparent uh, sensitivity to emotional states of others and for some reason, I'm starting to believe even on the quantum nature of reality itself. Uh, I had to think about this one for a while because I was just in the shower. Frequently talking with God, with my Creator, and asking what, how, why, and and I'm in the shower and and. a rainbow uh, because of a narrow slice of light is coming from the window and the particles are coming off of me in a flow of almost seemingly random constant flux and the light is hitting it in a slit and rainbows are, are creating diffraction diffusion but only in that narrow slit, because when I move the curtain, I'm like, oh, let me get more light, I'll get more rainbows. No, it went away. So, yesterday I was watching something about the quantum slit experiment and the particles and, and this bio-weapon engine. And the term soul catcher keeps coming to mind. most frightening concept that mankind could have created. And, um, <laughs> wow. And, and I'm thinking about uh, this guy, Huff Paranormal, who listens to these radio scanners and gets these conversations with these people and whether that's just something that you could do with your mind or whether these people are actually trapped in this quantum reality. <sighs> the tiny fibers have optical properties and quantum, everything that has optics has quantum it, it matter and it, I can't explain it, but I'm trying to visualize it. And so I'm thinking that the reverse of this slice of this rainbow that's taking the particles away, and if you could open it up again by reversing the flow of this quantum slice and extracting the data back out of the, because DNA holds quantum data. It's a methodology of sending data through time and and then I'm looking at the the, the quant you know the nature of this parallel 
universes, and I realized that that what we're doing with video games and computer artificial intelligence and reality simulation, mankind is driven to simulate reality for some reason, and it realizes that reality is just a simulation. And then you wonder at what level of this thing are we stuck at, and did we create it in the first place? Um, which would mean, you know, are we real? We're as real as we feel we are. But this ability to affect the quantum nature of reality with our, our narrow vision of it's a slit. Our vision is a slit on the electromagnetic spectrum. Our perception is a slit. In the same way that those particles are, are making a rainbow in that tiny slice of light, we are seeing reality through our perception. Uh, I don't understand all this yet, but thank you for watching. I gotta run.